absolutely massive week in Alluvium this week. We have had land sale hype. Council voting was concluded. There's been multiple streams from the Alluvium team and there has been multiple articles released on Medium about Alluvium. So stick around while I give you the weekly wrap up. This week has just been chock-a-block full of huge news stories. So, as always, I've done a digging, so you get to sit back, relax, and get up to date from this short video. So, first off, we'll go over to YouTube, where Andrew has done a stream with Roger, the lead concept artist. This is just going through all the regions, showing some concept art, showing some in-game play. It is just amazing to see where they've started, where they're at, and just get inside Roger's head as to what they've been trying to do. To see the absurd size of some of these lands is just amazing. So if you've got a spare, I know it's at an hour and 40 minutes, pretty long, and you probably want to watch it. So this is one that you just put on while you're just chilling on your computer and you can just watch. And another one that they released a couple days later, later I think, Andrew again did a stream with Kieran and this just is everything about Alluvium land. Um, oh, I forgot on the last one, that was the first time they showed the Alluvi decks. The Alluvi decks is live now, which I'll talk about a little bit later. This episode they go over everything. Zero, benefits and perks, your region, tiers, multiple lands, mega cities, rental, fuel pricing, the sale and how to buy. So if you're buying, if you're going to buy land and you haven't watched this video, I would get on it as soon as possible. We'll go over to Discord onto their announcements. Illuminati Council election for Epoch 6 begun and finished. They had a little bit of issues with it, so the V2 staking wasn't getting caught up in people's wallets, so they had to reset it and start it again. They made the voting a bit shorter, but it was done and it was very close. Um, Vedemore, Santiago, Kira, and Daraji and Sheep, congratulations. So, as I said before, how close the actual voting was, you can see here. The difference between Vedemore and Kieran, which is 1 to 5, was like 1%. And then Sasha was like 1% behind them. So every vote counts in these council elections. So next time, if you do have ILB, make sure you vote. Got announced today, less than 9 hours before the sale, Tier 5 auctions are being postponed. Don't be scared that they've postpone tier 5 auctions it is literally they've had a security issue and they don't want the people that are going to be bidding on tier 5s to have their security compromised they're only delaying it it's I know they've delayed lots of things in the past but it's always for the greater good this won't affect tier 1s through 4 land sale is going to start in less than 40 minutes from now obviously once the video is uploaded it's probably already started so good luck in your buying if you're going to buy. If you have any issues with the IMX, there is an IMX support during the land sale and a, a thread to go and talk in. So use that if you need. Alright, so we're in the leaks part of the Discord here. Not too many leaks this week. We've got three more tier zeros released. As you can see, there's one of each affinity and then each alluvial is a different class. So you get to mix and match for free and get to see how all the classes and affinities all work together. So they've also been working on new mechanics. This one's called Flea. So it looks like it makes the alluvial run away, which is really cool. It seems like they're trying to get um, a few more mechanics into the auto battler, which is super exciting. So because there's been so much news this week, I only really went through the Discord and picked out two things. Um, as you can see here, Kieran he was asked if there's more overworld gameplay and it's coming, like really soon. And my god, it's lovely. I'm super keen to see this. Overworld is going to be one of my favourite parts of the game. He did say a little bit later that it was going to be before land... They were trying to get it out before land sale, but it obviously didn't happen. But still super keen for this. And then another one from um, Kieran... He's just talking about if they're going to deliver things modularly, so deliver the survival mode with PvP, then survival with yield, arena, so on and so forth, just drips and drabs, or to just hold them all off and then drop it all at once. Let me know down the bottom what you think would be the best way to do this. 
me personally, I'd probably like it staggered so then the hype can just continually get higher and higher rather than just one huge spike and then drop off. But let me know your thoughts anyway. So we'll head over to the Medium articles that they released this week. As you can see up above, seven articles that they released this week. Two of them are regions, so I'll go over that first because they're just a little bit more fun. First one was Tiger Boreal. It is a snowy and icy mountainous region on the northern tip of the West Island. It looks amazing. Again, they've just outdone themselves. This has even like the tunnels where it goes down and up. So it's it's so multi-layered, these, um, these regions. You'll be transversing up and down as well as around. So I cannot wait for Overworld. Holy dooly. Like, look how just everything looks so beautiful. Um, <laughs> They've got three mountain peaks, the three brothers, obviously in homage to the three co-founding brothers. I'll link all of these articles below, the YouTube videos and anything else down in the um, description below if you wanted to read any of these in any more depth. If you want me to go over these in any depth, any more depth, like read over them and give my insights on what they're saying, let me know in the comments below so then I can give you what you guys want. Uh, the next region they dropped was Brightland Steps. It is situated east of the continent. Um, just huge grassland and expanse populated by large vines that have found their way across the region. Um, again, it seems like every single one of these, they've done a different visual for the land, which I like. It's pretty cool. Um, just kind of gives you a different feel for each one. And... Like, this just looks like a happy place. Lush green valley surrounding o obelisk. Um, all these purple vines look sick. Obviously, if you've watched, if you go and watch that regions video, it does go over this as well in a bit more detail with some better visuals as well. So, we'll go over to the Immutable X articles. There's part two, three, and four released this week. Part one was last week. If you want to just nerd out a little bit and see how layer twos work they're only three or four minute reads each go and give yourself a little bit of knowledge on why layer twos are amazing why they don't cost anything in ethereum and why it's the way of the future medium article 57 is how to buy land the Illuvidex is live as i said below i will link the Illuvidex in the description too because you need to get on there for to buy land i'll link my video from the yesterday up above now so if you want to see my thoughts on land and what you need to do to be prepared it'll be there for you and the last article is the Illu Illuvium Universe land sale starts today gas free another immutable X just kind of blurb on how good they are so I'll go on to Twitter we'll start with Kieran and Obviously, with land sale hype raising, the amount of FUD that gets put up and the amount of garbage that other people are putting out on Illuvium just keeps going up and up and up. If you want to have a look, this tweet here by Lupify, Kieran and others just got on there and absolutely smashed him. It's a good little laugh if you've got a bit of spare time to go have a read. Um, Within our content creators, we had a little um, competition on who could do the best land sale video. The Illumination ETH that is um, linked here won. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'd go and watch it. It is pretty funny. Um, a very good way of explaining how good and how useful land is going to be in Illuvium. Again... <laughs> Kieran is now Karen, and this is his new new look. We'll move on from that, but just keep it in the back of your minds. Then they dropped this absolute perler of a photo. So this is what Illuvium Zero looked like before. Then Grant decided to flip it on its head, and it needs an upgrade. Now it looks like this. That looks fucking amazing. Sorry for the swearing, but I can't wait I know this is a tier 5 and it's absolutely absurd but still for all the buildings the roads everything is just top notch I cannot wait to get my hands on this uh, we'll go over to a new Twitter now Arcade it's their Illuvium week um, I would go and 
hit that follow button for them. They're literally about to go on to a Twitter space here. I'll be on there. So get on. We can have a chat here. They're giving away some land as well. So it's worth going and following them. Trying to get this tier 1 land pot from here as well as from the um, land giveaway that Alluvium are doing themselves. So we'll head over to our good friends at Info Alluvial. They have dropped so much in the last week. It's very hard to keep up. But I'll pick out a couple. There's a great article here from Daraji who's on the council. What he's going to be watching in the land sale. If you haven't read any of his articles, I would suggest you go and read them. Some of the stuff is well over my head numbers wise and whatever, but it's good reading. He really breaks things down really well for everyone. Next up, the Aluvic Dex page is currently up. As I said before, you connect you can connect your wallet and even approve SLV2 to spend when you're buying. So go and do this now. Landsouse is starting pretty much right now. So if you haven't done it and you don't plan on buying for the next day or two, still go on, have a look around. And as I said, watch that video I tagged before. It gives you a quick little insight on it. And last thing today, Aaron dropped the spawn weights for each region. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So he dropped the spawn weights. So you can go in and go, yeah, Abyssal is going to be mostly nature and, na and water. Brightland Steps, nature, and then air. So you can go on here and you can work out what piece of land you want depending on what blueprints you might want to find or look for in your land so anyway that is all the news stories for this week good luck on the land sale hope you find the land that you're looking for anyway i'll catch you next week for alluvia news see ya